welcome to Artville at Home. This is Miss Grams, and I'm so happy to see you again. I hope you're not afraid of my blob monsters. Do you remember last time we were in Artville, we made some dangerous things because the story goes, you remember the story, the dragons came from far away, they flew over the mountains, and often it was dangerous. And I made a volcano, and last time you were here, we made these blob monsters. Remember, we were pretending <clears throat> that the blob monsters came from the land of no colors, and they were chasing Kathmandu. And if you remember, we made them <clears throat> by folding and putting paint on the fold, and they made these blobs. Well, I thought, the blobs don't have any wings. How are they going to chase the dragons? These blob monsters need to have a space vehicle. So today we're going to make a space vehicle, okay? And to make your space vehicle, you're going to need a paper bag, and we're going to cut the bottom of the paper bag. You see how the folded part is underneath? We're just going to cut the bottom. This part is thick because it's so much paper there. If you need help cutting this part, you can. It can be a straight line or it can be kind of wavy. That's up to you. But you cut the bottom, then you have, you open it up, you have a boat or a flying machine. Now, the blood monsters can go inside the boat. Where's my little guy? Here he is. And they can fly and they can chase Kathmandu because they wanted to come back. They want the dragons to come back. But how is this thing going to fly? It's got no wings. You have to put on some wings. So to make your wings, just more paper bags. More paper bag paper. You can cut plain wings. You can cut fancy wings. You can cut any kind of wings you want. Maybe they're going to be really big, flappy wings. If you cut a piece like this, all you have to do is fold a little tab like that. Get your glue, get the glue, and then you have a wing where you think it should go. You have to give it a good pinch, you know, so it stays. Of course, I need two wings. This wing, I'm going to cut this one too. So it looks more streamlined, like a real wing. I'm going to fold this, put on the glue, and then I have to put it on the other side of my boat, like this. Now I have this flying thing, and I can put monsters in the flying thing, like this, and they can fly and chase after Kathmandu. But wait, I think it might need a propeller. So, if you want to make a propeller, just get more paper bags. And to make a propeller, you need to cut lots of strips. Just lots of straight things. Now, Mr. Cameraman, if you can get over here and see, you're going to make a plus sign with the paper strips. Glue them in the middle. Maybe another bit of glue and pink another crisscross plus sign. Oh my goodness, you can even make another one. You can make as many as you want. Whoa, I have a propeller. That's a great propeller. Now I've got to put it on the airplane or this machine so they can fly after Kathmandu. Owen, are you with me? Are you sticking with me here? Reggie, are you here too? Making a vehicle? How about you, Sam? Are you watching? Amina, are you making one too? So now that is getting to be a good vehicle, but how are they going to steer? I think they might need a steering wheel. So I'm going to make a steering wheel. I'm going to take another piece of this paper. Now I'm going to cut a rainbow on the fold. Oh, here. We have a steering wheel. I can draw one. I can draw a wheel on my steering wheel. Now they have a steering wheel, and I can put that, and then they can fly after Kathmandu. 
So my airplane is getting very fancy. There, it's getting to be really good. You can add more stuff. You might think of more things. Maybe they need a timepiece. Maybe they need a sundial. I don't know what they might need. But you know what I thought? And I want some of you good inventors to work on this problem for me because I want to be able to set this down. Well, the wings are holding it up. That's a good thing. But I was thinking maybe there's a way to get wheels on the bottom to make it stand up by itself too. I want to see if any of you can invent wheels. If you invent wheels for this vehicle, could you put them in Seesaw and show us your invention? Because when you start making things like this, you don't know where it will end. Okay? Have fun. Bye.